guys, I'm singer, songwriter and South African Music Award nominee, Jared Ricketts. And if you haven't heard about it before, you're going to hear about it right now. Hello everybody, I am Nigel Adrianza, the founder and CEO of the EDPF Property Academy. Today is the start of our 50 day challenge where we have asked four celebrities to go with us on a journey of property investment. Today with me I have Jared Ricketts, known to many of you um, as a very popular singer based here in Cape Town. We thank the private property for uh, being a partner in this journey with us, as well as the venue that we are at, the beautiful Radisson Blue in Ribic Street in Cape Town. This challenge, where we help Jared to start their portfolio, is a 50-day challenge, where we will, over 50 days, starting today, teach them how to start their property portfolio, teach them how to raise finance, teach them how to structure their portfolio, teach them where to find deals and teach them how to build a community of support around them in order to help them build their property portfolio. All right, so let's introduce our very first celebrity, Jared Ricketts. Jared, please tell us about yourself, where you come from um, and uh, what you're currently doing. Wow, so um, I am a singer, a songwriter, performer, and I'm from the Cape Flats, Athlone specifically. And I'm involved in various different projects. I'm a fashion designer as well. And I have my own company called JBR Productions where we facilitate virtual corporate experiences across the country. And I'm just so excited to be here. So thank you to you and to uh, EDPF Academy, Private Property for being willing to share this kind of knowledge. I, you know, I'm all about learning. It's gonna be new guys for me, um, but I'm grateful that you're taking the time to educate us all on this. Fantastic. So, guys, let's get started on our 50-day challenge. And the first question that I have for Jared is to ask him why property and why property investment specifically? For me, it's a conversation I've never really been privy to. I don't come from a background where those conversations are had at the dinner table. Um, upon my own research, it is quite the industry and quite uh, the opportunity to get involved in. And... Um, for me, it's about creating wealth for myself and my family, and of course, learning. Um, so it's very important to me on that front. Um, I have, I've started developing, funny enough, a, a passion for properties. So I've been on private properties um, app and website so many times, earmarking what I would like to, you can dream, right? You can Absolutely. Dream. <laughs> and um, I'm excited because I can finally potentially see this dream come to life. That is amazing. Um, and it's fantastic also to know that Jared comes from the Cape Flats and Athlon specifically, because actually that's where I come Come from on, too. guy, <laughs> come on. So we, we both come from the Athlon area. Um, and basically, I, I think we probably have the same experience where property has never been a discussion to be had at the dinner table because our parents actually don't know about property and property investment. And their parents still don't know. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah and absolutely. so I think this is so important. Yes, for me, but for all of you who are going to be on this journey to, to become accustomed to, to knowing that this is an opportunity and it's, it's possible for you. You know, we look at something like property portfolios and we think it's unattainable. Mm. You know, how am I going to make this happen? And it's because this kind of information was withheld before. You yeah, know? absolutely. And thanks to guys like you, you know, they say we've got an uncle in the furniture business, so we've got an <laughs> uncle in the property business as well. So I, I can't wait. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. Um, I, I wouldn't like to be called the uncle of the property business, but all right, let's the go. Brother, the yeah. brother of the property <laughs> Yeah, business. I think that's a bit better, yeah. So as we kick off this journey, the first thing that I need to understand from you, Jared, before we can help you in the academy is what type of property would you like to invest in? And I thought about this long and hard and a property that makes me money. 
is what I want. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <actually>. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, I want something that I can not have to live in, but something that can generate some kind of capital for me and that can pay itself off quickly. Um, and it will open the door and unlock further opportunities to acquire more property. Okay. So I'm not necessarily looking for that city slicker, you know, ceiling to ground, wall to wall glass. I'm looking for something that uh, anybody would want to rent and that can uh, provide some capital for me. Hello everybody and welcome back to the 50 day property challenge. Uh, today we caught up with Jared Ricketts um, to see how he's doing with his property uh, search to see if he's got any deals on the cards. Um, we are now um, on day 11 already uh, of this uh, property journey of ours and um, we've done a whole lot of training and learning and so on uh, for 10 days as you would have seen. Um, for those who have missed any of our sessions, you can go to edpfpropertyacademy.com and we have all of our sessions there. Alternatively, you can uh, subscribe to our uh, channel, our YouTube channel. And again, all of our 50 day challenges, as well as our one minute property tips. Everything is there. You've got some free training that you can do there um, and uh, even join the academy if you wish. Uh, but today we, we've caught up with Jared. Uh, Jared, uh, welcome and thank you again uh, for being part of this 50 day challenge. We are so excited that uh, your journey has started and, um, and especially yeah. the fact that, you know, we, we able to, through this platform, um, help the public to also become property investors, which is really the aim of the, of the Enterprise Development Property Fund and the EDPF Property Academy. So without any further ado, Jared, um, give us an idea of where you're at now. We're on day 11. Um, have you looked at any properties? Have you found any properties? Uh, are you looking at, at any opportunities? Uh, and then we'll talk about it from there. So it's been an interesting journey. I mean, for me, it's, it's the first time. So it's, it's uh, moments where you think you know what you're looking for, and then you change your mind because something else pops up. I mean, the private property app is really helpful in that regard. I've been able to set it for certain requirements, one bedroom, two bedroom. Um, just that kind of settings just to make sure I can really zone in and look at what it is that I want for myself. And I found a few few opportunities, so I'm going to do a bit more research and inquire further. Um, but for me, it's still the, the, the uh, back and forth between do I want a long-term rental? Do I want a holiday rental? Do I want an Airbnb? Because that's quite popular. You know, it's a good way to get a return on your investment. And so um, I'm really excited. It's been an interesting and educational journey thus far. And like you rightfully said, you know, I come from the music sector or I'd say the entertainment sector. And for a lot of my colleagues in the business, this feels like something very far-fetched. It feels like something you can't really attain. Um, you know, we all know the narrative around musicians. They always say we don't earn enough and we won't qualify for this or qualify for that. But I think through the course, it's been exciting to see that we can unlock this for ourselves. And uh, it doesn't mean that, hey, um, you've got money in the bank when you acquire a property because um, there's many ways to go about this, you know, whether you get a bond, whether you are connecting with uh, your networks, you can help you invest. Um, and I think it's cool because it's something I never knew about, I didn't think was possible, but um, the closer I get to finding what it is I'm going to invest in, I'm, I'm seeing that it's not difficult. You just really have to educate yourself. You really have to know what it is that you want and sort of have your ear on the ground with property trends. You know, what kind of properties are people renting? How are they renting? What is the, what is the climate around that? You know, a few weeks, a few, yeah, we spoke about um, student accommodation. We spoke about um, just all of that. It's a lot to factor in, you know, and that is all dependent on the area. Is it an area that has students? Because that makes more sense. Is it a holiday area? Is it a residential? And, and it really is going to affect the kind of um, I think the client that you'll get who will rent from you because there's so many things to factor in. Because you, if you have a high-end property, you know that the kind of client you're going to try and attract to rent is someone who has a certain income bracket. You know, So you can't go in blindly and just expecting that it's all going to work out. There's so much... Uh, research and understanding and questions that you have to ask and um like i say i'm completely green in this uh maybe some of the people watching this have um 
a deeper understanding. But so many of you out there are just like me who are kind of uh, not knowing, but then you do know, then you don't know. So I think <laughs> on this day, I'm a little bit closer, Nigel. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the weeks to come. Fantastic, man. Um, the, you're saying you're a little bit closer. That means you've got a couple of deals that you're looking at. Uh, give us an idea yes. of one or two of the deals that you found. Sure. So I found an apartment in town. It's a, a one bedroom. And that's a great opportunity for Airbnb um, because there's so many foreigners in Africa coming to the country for holiday and they're always looking for an inexpensive uh, self-catering space to be because they want to be central. They want to be in a hub. And also looking outside of the normal sort of Cape Town vicinity, uh, I found another property that's a potential um, holiday rental. So we'll, we'll have a look at that and see if that's where my head is at. Like I said before, it's all about just weighing it up, you know, and understanding what's really going to work for you. Uh, we all have different needs. We all have different uh, visions of where we want to be and how we want this property portfolio to work. And so um, I'm excited to tap into those two opportunities that, that resonated with me. And um, we'll see which one outweighs the other and, and where I'll be investing. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. Awesome. I, I do remember, I mean, we, we've been talking now for almost three weeks about, uh, yeah. you know, where you'd like to invest, what type of stuff you'd like to invest in, what your investment strategy is going to be. And for those of you mm -hmm. who missed any of those conversations, you can just look back at some of the videos that we've cut already. Um, mm -hmm. But basically, you've, you've managed to sort of zone in on a couple of concepts, uh, strategies mm -hmm. that, that you're looking at. Um, and, and it looks like these two opportunities very much fall in line with that where it's like Airbnb right. type stuff, holiday accommodation stuff, um, where you're not looking for a place that you want to live in. You actually want to look at yeah. uh, places where you want to rent out on a holiday accommodation or Airbnb space. Correct. And I think it's understanding that like, Cape Town is known for that. I mean, the Tabalang is in Joburg, and so the yeah. need is very different. You know, in Cape Town, we've got mountains, we've got the ocean, we've got the city. And so we do, because of tourism, attract a lot of foreigners and for yeah. me thinking yeah. about that you know um in an age where yes people are recovering from the pandemic and uh, people are either losing jobs or, or getting new jobs and so the income is varied every month you know i want to tap into a different market it's not necessarily a part of the cape town community but um taking advantage of the fact that you know there are dollars coming to the country euros coming to the country and and maybe that's a way to pay off the bond firstly <laughs> and secondly um yeah, just, just to tap and create, tap in and, and, and create my own little space for my portfolio, you know, and my specific yeah, kind of yeah. portfolio that I want to hold. So, yeah. Yeah, and no, I understand that fully. So, you and I have over the couple of weeks now, two weeks that we've been talking, uh, chatted quite a bit about people looking at you and going, ah, but you, a celebrity, you know, you've got lots of money, you can do this, uh, you know, us, <laughs> us mere mortals on the street, yeah. we can't do what you're doing. So so tell us a little bit about that, why, you know, why, why are we doing this 50-day challenge in the first place? And, uh, and the fact that actually, no, uh, just because I'm famous maybe, doesn't necessarily mean that I have money. Yes, I think it's also got to do with the fact that, as we've mentioned before, people aren't educated in this, in this uh, arena. And so everything feels far-fetched. Everything feels like it's a conversation that you can't be privy to because um, it's higher level. It's, 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 but it's all things that you can learn. That's what you're showing here. And I think uh, it's important for me, for me as a musician to also show people that it doesn't matter where you come from or what kind of background you have. Um, there are ways that you can build this portfolio. It's about looking at your needs, you know, and as you rightfully mentioned, having a job in the public space where people see you every day, whether it's on TV, there's this assumption that, you know, the dollars are rolling in and the rands are rolling in. And so, of course, it's easier for you to do this. And people forget, myself and Inter Berlin, we are, our jobs are, they just happen to be public. You know, we're like everybody else that needs to go and work and earn a living. And it's about looking at the finances you have and how can you unlock certain things with that. Of course, myself and Intabalang are not going to go in over our heads, you know, and, and try and do something big and extravagant. Um, maybe as the portfolio grows and the finances grow, and you're able to unlock something like that. But I think it's important for people to understand that uh, I'm, listen, I'm as average 
as it comes. And and um, I'm also trying to understand how I can build a retirement yeah. for myself. You know, no, for sure. I'm in an industry where that, that's not a thing that exists. We don't yeah. have yeah. Um, unions and spaces that are going to pay us out. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's as real as anybody else is going to go out there and look for a property. There's nothing special about me in that sense. I'm, I'm learning as you learn. I think Itzabaleng is a lot more well averse in this space. So I think people can get a sense that I'm still like navigating this maze and finding how am I going to do this. But, but I think it's encouraging because as we keep saying, if I can do it, Itzabaleng can do it. Um, definitely you can do it. Because when it comes to finance and it comes to the banks and it comes to getting a loan, listen, we're all equal. We all go through the motions. And sometimes you get the yes and sometimes you get the no. But it's the course that can truly um, give you the solutions, you know, yeah. to navigate this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the 50-Day Property Challenge brought to you by the Enterprise Development Property Fund and the uh, EDPF Property Academy and Private Property. Today, we have with us only Janet Ricketts because uh, he, both he and, and Tabaleng Matthau are extremely busy right now. Things are happening. We'll hear all about that from Janet now. But I thought today we will just catch up with Janet and maybe tomorrow we'll catch up with Matt Al uh, so that we can see where she's at. So, Janet, tell us what's been going on in your life. Tell us uh, about uh, your busyness. I know you're extremely busy right now. <laughs> I see on Facebook yeah. and on Twitter I, and all over. You, you, it's all happening for you right now. What's yes. going on, my friend? You know, busy is usually a, a very loose term that we use. But um, this time it's proven to be fact you know um now that the pandemic has sort of subsided for a bit and it's business as usual and so for the entertainment industry it's been this boost of now people doing more shows i've been booked more for 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 shows and interviews it's been a manic schedule i mean even right now i'm jumping between various meetings that i need to have but it's been very good um just haven't had a lot of time to focus on the things that i wanted to focus on i mean we spoke about this 50 day challenge that we're doing and it's been tough you know squeezing at the time because there's just so much to learn i mean me i was completely green i mean i'm wearing green i was completely green to the whole concept of building a portfolio and there was just so much that i needed to take into consideration and um you know you take it lightly oh it's purchasing a property but there's so many factors that one has to consider you know, when defining the kind of portfolio that you want and how you want it to grow and how you want that money to sort of, uh, the return on, on investment to happen for you. And so, I mean, between everybody that we got to meet through this program um, and writing down as much as I could and, and learning as much as I could, it's been quite enriching. I mean, I feel empowered to have this knowledge. And so um, it's been a wonderful process. There are times where it was really stressful because between work, scouting for properties, um, trying to get the best deal it just really felt like I was cramming so much um, into the short period of time but nevertheless um, it's a 50-day challenge and yes we've managed to to do what we need to do and I'm, I'm quite excited awesome okay so from a perspective of the understanding and the learning you got to a point where you've now learned enough to actually yes. go out there and look for property and find the right property. So um, we, I understand that you have now made a final decision. The last time yes. we spoke, you had narrowed it down to two properties and there was just one particular property basically that you had said, this is probably the one that you're going to go for. What Correct. has happened now? Have you made the offer? Have you raised the money? What's going on? Yes, yeah, so I'm very excited to say that um, I've made the offer and between my wife and I, we had the funds, yay, through saving. I can't believe I'm actually saying that on the, on the program because 50 days sounded a little bit uh, unattainable. 
<laughs> but um, between my wife, we managed to, to, to source the funds. We bought out by like a small fraction. And so we leaned into what we learned around um, other people's money. And so we, we have a, a few friends that were able to just make up that small fraction. And so uh, through rental, we'll be able to give them their money back and um, have the properties. So we find and it's happened. So very excited. Yes. That is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Uh, you know, we normally ring the bell when uh, when we do something yep. exciting here at the EDPF Academy. Unfortunately, I, I didn't realize that you were, <laughs> you had already purchased your first property. So I didn't bring the yep. bell with me. But uh, the next uh, time we connect, football. I will definitely bring the bell so that I can bring it. I am so very, very proud of you, Janet. I'm so very happy for you that you've put in that first offer. You've got the money available. And now literally, basically, but all you're waiting for now is transfer, right? Correct. We're just waiting for everything <laughs> to happen. And, um, it's still scary. It's still new. It's exciting. But I'm glad that uh, I've started or we've started, my wife and I. And so... We're looking forward to seeing how this journey unfolds. You know, I think I think for anybody watching, I just want to reiterate that it's it's obviously not easy. There's a lot that you have to take into consideration, but um, it's definitely possible. And um, I just want to say again, I'm just like everybody else out there who has to look at the funds and see what's possible. And so um, I'm just happy that I got to this point. Um, you know, when you oh, when I wow. see <laughs> like am i actually doing this is this real um to the point where the offer was accepted and now we're just waiting for everything else to happen and it's, it's quite cool it's really wow. cool wow hello everybody and welcome back to the 50-day challenge brought to you by the edpf property academy and private property again today we have chad and ricketts in the room uh, as always, uh, this last couple of days, it's been so hectic that we are only able to meet uh, with Jared and Ntaba Leng separately. Uh, but let's uh, use this time um, to just catch up with Jared and see uh, if he's got any news for us on the uh, transfer front. If you remember, uh, in the first half of the 50-day challenge, he already uh, found a property and because he was able to raise the capital he was able to make a cash offer and uh, which he then did and we were just waiting um, for transfer um, so the last time we spoke uh, we said that it was nearly time and uh, this was a quick one specifically because of the fact that he had the cash available and he didn't have to go and raise a bond so let's uh, just quickly catch up with Jared Jared tell us where you're at with this uh, property that you bought have you uh, taken transfer yet so very excited it's been an awesome journey thus far and um transfer is now complete hey it's I'm very excited yeah listen I can't okay okay hold on you remember that when, when we spoke last, uh, before the, uh, in, in the first half, I said we normally yes. ring the bell. I brought the bell this time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Well never, done, Jared. We are so excited. That is amazing. Thank you. Listen, this has been a, um, really cool. I mean, to go through the process, especially after with Mary Duval chatting to us around um, the process, um, it, it definitely some of the information surfaced while I was in the process. And so I'm um, pretty excited and, and happy to see that it's not a the scary thing that's not attainable or accessible. And so um, it's happened and, and I'm excited. The dental opportunity that I now have is, 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 is quite an incentive now. So, so I'm looking forward to marketing the space and, and getting some foot flow and generating some capital, you know, as this wow. um, so yeah. Wow, listen, for me, this is amazing. Not only the fact that within the 50 days we were able to do this, but that it took, that the process was so quick because normally um, the process, I mean, your transfer can take anywhere from two to six weeks sometimes, yeah. just depending on, on which which uh, uh, deeds office you're going to and, the, and how busy they are. Uh, during COVID it was even worse. Um, but the fact that you were able to do the deal quickly, that you had the cash available, that you didn't have to worry about a bond, and that the transfer took 
two weeks as opposed to up to six weeks sometimes. Um, I mean, this is just absolutely amazing. I, I, you know, I, I thought that maybe at the end of the 50-day challenge, we'd eventually get there. But um, the fact that you took transfer is just absolutely amazing. And I'm so very excited for you. And the fact that you, are, you have so, so many other opportunities now. Um, I mean, when, when we spoke the last time, you said that uh, you, because you've now gone through the first one, that sort of scary uh, process, that thought process is no longer there. T tell us a little bit about that. Tell us how, you know, how are you feeling about that now and how are you feeling about the next phase of your investment portfolio? So Nigel, listen, I feel quite an um, unreal feeling, I have to say, because I couldn't really see myself doing this. Oh, in the beginning, it was very scary and it sounds like um, something that's completely unattainable. Mm -hmm. And because something so long, um, it just felt unreal as this process started unraveling. It's, it, it felt like this pipe dream, you know. And um, now that the process has, has gone full swing and I, I'm now getting the property and I can rent it out, it, and it's my first property, it's really cool to see how easy it is. Of course, every situation will be unique depending on the kind of investment that you make. So what's gone smoothly now might not go smoothly the next time. I completely understand that. But um, it's just really cool that, that it is as, I won't say simple, but as accessible of, of an opportunity, you know, and that, that mm. so many can do this. Yeah. And that the, the shifting, and I'm now part of that landscape that's shifting. And for supporting being a colored male or male of color, that I now form part of a percentage of a demographic that's, that's now counted for and seen as um, changing the landscape. So um, I'm really excited. That, yeah, yeah. I, I can't stop being amazed. I, I've literally got goosebumps, the fact that we are now at this point. So, Jared, you know what? <laughs> There's nothing more to talk about here because, you know, you've now done exactly what it is we wanted you to do in the 50-day challenge. We are excited to welcome you to the family of property investors within the EDPF program. And we as EDPF, and I'm sure private property, are so happy to have been part of this journey thus far. But what's even better is that this is just the start of your journey because you are still with us for just under three years where through this program, we're going to help you to buy that second one, which we've already started to talk about. You've got this opportunity. We, we just need to make sure that we help you to raise that capital. And then once you've bought your second property, we can then go back to the banks to be able to raise capital using things like the uh, future rental income products and so on um, in order to raise the capital for those future property investments. So we are there. We are at that point that we wanted to be at after the 50 days. We still have a couple more days to go. So hopefully oh. between now and the end of the 50 day challenge, we can get you to that point where you sign the, on the dotted line for that second property. You obviously won't be able to take transfer um, in the short period of time for that second property. But if we can at least get you to that point where you've made the offer, you've raised the capital, and then we hopefully just be waiting for transfer, that would be an awesome achievement because then we still have almost a full three years uh, to get you to a, a much higher level from a property perspective, uh, investment perspective basis. So Jared, um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being part of this journey. Um, and we, we look forward to, to finishing off the 50-day challenge with you. Um, and hopefully, we'll get to that point of your, of your second property. Um, thank you to the public out there for continuing to watch us uh, diligently. And we're hoping that you also have started your journey in purchasing your first property within this 50-day challenge. Uh, so from the EDPF Property Academy, from uh, private property and Jared, uh, thank you for joining us and we'll see you again tomorrow.